It's a blue Thanksgiving today. Nice and blue. Man. Well, the Thanksgiving's upon us already. And uh, woke up to quite a bit of snow and didn't realize how much more snow we were going to get. But that's okay. I'm ready for it. The temperature dropped down. We got pretty chilly. In the mid-20s, probably at least most of the day. I have to get up and take some videos and pictures of outside before I get busy in the kitchen. I want to make sure I started cooking early and uh, didn't want to spend the whole day doing just a, just a meal. Pretty nice outside. Definitely getting snow on the truck already, but yeah, I had to get my potatoes started. I'll show you guys a little quick view of what I do with mine. And uh, yeah. I need my taters. <laughs> all right, I got some of my fixings put in there. Got to get some butter. Didn't get it all wound up. About to get ready. Pretty awesome. Oh man, that's gonna be good too. Now that's fluff. <laughs> Got the rest of the stuff, but I can't show you guys everything. So let's start on the list here. Big one was it needed a fuel pump. Got that done. Sway bars, believe it or not, sway bar wasn't even attached. So <laughs> reattached the sway bar with the brand new urethane bushings and then onto the solar. Added 300 more watts of solar power. So we're ready now. And there we go, got it all tacked in. Made it a little shorter on this end because, uh, like I said, I kicked my feet over right there. And, but yeah, look at that. I don't hold quite a bit of food back there. What I'll do is I got some of that foam left over from the solar panels and I'm gonna stick it in there on top of that pink foam and maybe run it up the wall a little bit. And anything on that panel, so. Sweet. This is the shelf that I added in this void right here that completes all the shelving that I wanted to put in for now. Got the uh, insert for the sink done. And we finally did the cutout on this kickout table so I could have this fixed propane. Got the battery box buttoned up. And we ended up with some new power. A hot plate, a couple power stations. Makes a huge difference for backup when you don't have any. And of course, we've got the cooler now. That cooler goes to be, you can freeze stuff in it. It's awesome, it's worked really good, so.
what's happening everybody today i guess i do an update on the old camper rig and the callan camper and it's snowing outside oh yeah got shelving up here now shelving over here got a table now got uh, one two of these guys for when i'm traveling cleaned up all my power put a shelf over here yeah, we're good to go, but let's go outside. Well, I'll talk about this a little bit. Yeah, the old Callan Camper. Year three. This is the third year living in this truck, you guys. And I love it. I absolutely enjoy it. It's only 48 square feet to have to heat. Sealed up nice and tight now. Learned all the hard lessons. Those aluminum frames on the windows, you just gotta wipe them down in the morning. I got them triple layered on the windows now. Took the jacks off. Put the jacks uh, at the back here, those two RV jacks, they work awesome. So that helped. This truck does have airbags on it too, so that was a big deal because the capper weighs about eh, 450. Solid steel, fiberglass insulation. So the old rig right here just got back from Florida, and Gulf Shores, and Alabama, and Arkansas, Wyoming, Nebraska, Montana, Louisiana. Year three, third year. So we're looking at, well, we're already up to like four inches, it's starting to slide off of the solar panels up there it's getting pretty thick and it's coming in hot but yeah I've, I've done a lot of things that just make it nicer to s sleep in there and stay warm insulated the bed resealed around the camper to the bed of the truck did some maintenance flush transmission redid the thermostat needed to be done a bunch of little things that just made it nice on this trip I just took and yeah three years man still got the mudders on the back redid the sway bar I need to do brakes so I'm gonna do that here before I take off next year I've got some things I'm planning to do and try and generate a little income until I breach this gap that I'm in right now and still you know I still want to put me a little house on my property, doggone it. So, yeah. But, hey, that's a quick update on the Callan Camper. We're settling in. And looks like it's going to be a cold, wet winter. Hope everybody has an awesome, blessed day. And thanks for coming to my channel. You subscribers rock. Dig you all. People that just watch and don't subscribe. Hey, thank you, too. But, um, yeah, if you subscribe, it helps me out. We're going to be getting there soon. We're up to 312, so we're getting close. We'll get there. And uh, But together, not by myself. Peace, everybody.
that was a lot of snow. Like a rock. <laughs> this is going to be a good project right here. I think we're going to be getting any solar today. <laughs> oh, dude, it looks up to like the windows in the visitor center. <laughs> it's like, it's like thick right there. <laughs> Kelly Kepper life. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, it was a good one. It was a good one.